MLB The Show's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. Today we've got a good matchup in store between the mid-century groundbreakers and the long ball beasts. It's baseball on the show and it's coming up next. Greg Maddox takes the mound for the Beasts today. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Well, everyone knows he's one of the game's elite pitchers, so if you like good pitching, you're in for a real treat. Not many other guys compare, and the thing I enjoy the most about him is the confidence that he exudes when he's out there. Trust me, he doesn't lack it, and the opposing hitters, they feel it when they're standing in the box against him. So stepping in, Jackie Robinson, and we are ready for some daytime baseball. And now he'll try to bunt his way on to start the game. And he fans on the barehanded attempt, so that ought to be scored as a bunt single. Talk about being caught off guard. You won't see that but once a year. First pitch of the game, and he bunts for a knock, and now they have to deal with him on the base pass. To the plate now, Mickey Mantle. And a pitch out, nothing doing though, and that's ball one. The 1 0. A ball and a strike now. Maddox has registered more than 5,000 innings of work at the major league level and with an ERA just hovering around the 3.00 benchmark. Mm, can't do much with that one. It's one and two. move over to first but the runners back easily the one two is swung on and missed he got him good job of making him chase a pitch for the strike out there yeah Matt that's the advantage of getting ahead in the count you can really force hitters to expand their zone and protect and when they're in that mode getting them to go after a pitch they can't do much with becomes a lot easier first things first here's a throw over runner is back Standing in now, Ernie Banks. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. First chance for him here with a runner at first and one gone. Runner, Runners runner. off for second. That's a strike to throw down. Not in time as he steals second. So he swipes second successfully, but you have to wonder now if that might actually end up taking the bat out of the hands of one of their better hitters. Well, that's a good point, Matt, but I'd be a little surprised if that's the case. It's still early and the game is tied, so that would be a pretty cautious move to pitch around him here or just walk him flat out. And on 0 2, he misses with a fastball. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. The one two. Liner towards second, but right to the second baseman, and that's the second out. That is four. The left fielder, number nine, Ted Williams. Into the box now, Ted Williams, runner in scoring position with two gone. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes.
Robinson at second with two down. Barely able to make contact. Down 0 and 2 now. A ball and two strikes. Count is one and two. Sliced hard on the ground. And there's a base hit as that gets through into left. The throw to the plate. And not in time as the run scores. Dan, you were one pitch away from getting out of this. Two outs, two strikes on the batter, and he's able to throw out a Remy knot. Dero, it's hard to get more frustrated than that as a pitcher. You're one pitch away from getting out of a lot of traffic on the bases, getting into the inning, and next thing you know, you give up a two-out, two-strike base hit. Nothing more frustrating for a pitcher than to have that happen. Into the box now, Lou Gehrig. As he pops the first pitch foul behind the plate. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. Here's the 0 1 pitch. Fouled off. The one two. Nope. Too high. Ball three. Well, this has been a good at bat. He's now worked to count full to three and two. It allows the runner on first to be on the move with two away. Now a swing, and the barrel of the bat breaks in two that time. And he'll avoid the fragments out there to make the catch that ends the inning. So they pick up a run on two hits, no errors, and a man left. We'll move on to the bottom half of inning number one. It's a lead for the mid-century era, one to nothing. Babe Ruth is on the mound for the groundbreakers in this one. Dan, any thoughts? Well, he's going to be fun to watch. He almost always is. He's proven to be one of the more dominant arms in all of baseball. And you can bet this opposing lineup is not too excited about having to face him. More often than not, he shuts teams down. So that's kind of what I expect from him in this one. Settling in now, Craig Biggio. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. And he misses inside with that one, ball one. Wide 2 and 0. Now here's the pitch. Called a strike there, 2 and 1. Very rarely does a pitcher like this leave one in a location like that. That's a pitch right there he'd like to have back. He'd love to swing at that one again. A little too tall that time. Three and one now. He's only four pitches in, but he doesn't look too sharp to start the day off. And it's up to a three two full count now. That's a base hit in the left field. 
I guarantee you at release point, he wanted to pull this pitch back. Change up middle of the plate usually gets deposited in seats. Prior to the at-bat, a check on first. And he's back easily. At the plate, Tony Gwynn as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. Nobody out runner on first. Chopped to third. Tough to get two. Oh, but it's a wide throw to second and they can't get the out. And he is going to score now all the way from first on a play that was nothing short of a disaster all the way around. Man, that was a comedy of errors right there. They're kicking the ball all over the yard, and the runner on first comes all the way around to score. So you wonder why managers retire early? There's your answer right there. Coming to the plate now, Chipper Jones. And he could give his guys an early lead if he can come through here. First offering on its way. The 0 and 1 delivery. And it's 1 and 1. Jones absolutely feasts off of left-handed pitching. Many right-handed hitters do better against southpaws, of course, but he's about as good as it gets in the opposite-handed type of matchup. Yeah, and I think the common denominator of why he absolutely hammers left-handed pitching is the fact that he knows he can't get beat inside. He has that split second more to be able to execute his game plan knowing he's not going to get jammed. Batting four. The first baseman. Right. Digging in, Frank Thomas. He's set and the pitch. Good fastball as he gets the swing and a miss. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. One out and a runner on third. In the dirt and blocked behind the plate. Good job there as the count goes to one and two. Look out. That one almost got away from him. Two and two now. All right. No more hoping he's going to chase. It's two and two now. You've got to come up with the best pitch right here because this is definitely a strikeout situation. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Swing and a miss at one in the dirt. And the throw is made to record the second out of the inning. Good pitch there. That was a nice job by his battery mate to complete the play first after the ball hit the dirt. So striding forward now, Mike Piazza trying to cash in here in his first at bat with a runner at third and two gone. As a look, now the pitch. And a fastball is in there for strike one. Hey, as a former infielder, nothing hurts your heart more than making errors behind your pitchers. Let's see if this guy can pick them up right here. Now a fastball off the plate away, a ball and a strike. Curveball bounces here, but a good job behind the plate to keep it at arm's length. Ready with the 2-1. Swing and a liner. 
But the shortstop's got him played perfectly as he takes this in for the third out. So it's one run, one hit, two errors in the inning, and a runner left on. One inning in the books here, all tied at one and one. All set for the start of the inning, and next to bat will be the outfielder, Al Kaline. The right fielder, Al Kaline. Now here's the pitch. And he gets ahead 0 and 1. Looked like he was going to wait him out, see if he was going to come over the heart of the plate. Well, newsflash, he is, and this hitter is going to adjust his batting gloves, and he better be ready in the box. The wind up and the 0 1. Hits this one hard the other way, and that is through into right field for a single. That is seven. The pitcher, number five, Johnny Bench. Stepping in now, Johnny Bench, as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. There he goes toward second. In there. Now the throw. Got him as Piazza shows a little life in that arm. How about that? They're showing they're not afraid to be aggressive on the base pass so far in this one. But we'll see if this caught stealing slows that down a bit. Managers never like to run into out, so they might play it a little safer going forward. A one and two count to Johnny Bench. Bases are empty, one man out. Fouled away. Here's another one, too. That's the ball. This is a fun guy to watch when he's up there, really battles. Doesn't take any pitches off, he's a grinder. Always seems to make it difficult on the opposing pitcher. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. Fastball just missed above the zone. To be honest with you, I'm a little bit more afraid of the guy on deck than the guy that's up right now. If I'm on the mound, I want this guy up right now. He's the guy that's got to beat me. Now the payoff pitch home. There's ball four. And I'm sure the manager is just fine with that. I mean, it's better to battle a slugger like that to the end and end up walking him than serving on up where he can really hurt you. So coming to the plate, Eddie Matthews. First shot for him here with a runner at first now and one away. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. And it's the outside corner. It's strike one. Good arm action on the circle. Change swung on and missed 0 and 2. That's inside and low. It's a ball and two strikes. Runner on first here with one gone and a 1 1 tie. And it's fouled away. Now a 58-foot curveball that misses for a ball. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. Wow, that's the case right there where a pitcher knows this guy's up there and he's in swing mode. That pitch wasn't even close to the strike zone, and he still swung at it. Plate now, Babe Ruth, as the changeup to him drops in there for the first strike. Just the second inning, but already 37 pitches to this point. 
Just got the corner that time with a fastball strike two. Boy, this is one of those ABs you like to hit the rewind button on. Put himself in a tough spot now, hitting with two strikes. And it's one and two. One pitch shy of 40 for him right now. And he's not even out of the second inning of work. He's definitely not being as efficient on the mound as he'd like. The one and two pitch. Wow, that's 40 pitches for him already. This doesn't have the makings of a start that he's going to go very deep. Runner aboard at first here with two gone in a 1-1 ball game. Maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. 3-2, two, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. Now the payoff pitch home. This one's down to third. There to take it is Chipper. And the off-balance throw gets him as he takes away a hit, and the side is retired. Last half of the second set to go, and next it'll be the outfielder, Gary Sheffield. Gary Sheffield. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Yeah, I get it. They want to run this guy's pitch count up, but that was a pretty good pitch to hit. He might be kicking himself that he didn't swing at that one. The 0-1 delivery. That was a tempting pitch to swing at right there. A big power guy like this really wants something that he can elevate and drive out of the ballpark. Still two and two. And another foul ball. Here's a curveball that's laid off that time. It's full three and two. You can certainly tell at bats like this one, frustrate the heck out of a pitcher. But you got to find a way to stay composed and execute your plan. And he takes ball four. Leadoff man's aboard here to begin the home half of the second. Man, when the game is tied, the last thing you can afford to do is walk the leadoff hitter. Got to focus on getting that ground ball now. Junior. Stepping into the box, Cal Ripken. First chance for him here with a man on following the leadoff walk. From the stretch. <laughs> leadoff man aboard here in a 1-1 ball game. Breaking ball. That's in the dirt as he takes a ball. And this is on the ground to first. Could be two. There's one. On to first, and they turn the double play. That's good athleticism here by the pitcher getting off the mound. He gets the ball to first and then hustles his way over to the bag to help him wrap up the tough 3-6-1 double play. So base is empty now after the double play. And coming forward is the switch hitting outfielder, Shane Victorino. First pitch coming, here it is. Hey! 
a pretty aggressive pitch right there up in the zone. Surprised he didn't offer at it. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Hard hit to first. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. So they go down without a whimper here. We played two full, all tied at one and one. So it's back to the top of the order now. And in steps a man whose number 42 has been forever retired, Jackie Robinson. Third baseman in tight protecting the bunt, the first pitch. Runs up and gets this one down. And Chipper will make sure this stays a foul ball. The 1 1 home. Takes a pass and misses. That's strike two. This pitcher's bringing it with some high velo. You better get that front foot down early and get ready, or he's going to throw right by you. Still 1 and 2 as he fouls it away. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. The one two. And here's a ball hit in the air. And no one will track it down. He'll try again, one two. And he fouls this one off. Just hung in there on that one. Again, a one two. And a fastball swung on and hit to second. Scooped up, throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. Good pitch right there to run the two seamer in on his hands and bunch him up. And an easy ground ball is the result. Digging in, Mickey Mantle. First pitch of the at bat. Well located change up on that one as it catches the black for a called strike. This guy loves to drop the head on those pitches down and in. I'm shocked he went in there, but he's able to jump ahead and get away with it. The wind up and the 0 1. Nope, that's a ball. Got a ball one out, nobody on. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. All even now, two and two. Trying to send him packing for the second time. And that one never threatened the zone. It's gone full now to three and two. Not a time to fool around right now on a three two count with the middle part of the order coming up. Expect a good pitch to swing at. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger and there are two away. Pretty clear he didn't like the call there on the outside part of the plate, but probably too good to take, and he's down on strikes for the second time. Yeah, that pitch was right on the black. Beautiful pitch, and even if we had robot umps, he'd still be out, but the only difference would be he wouldn't be able to complain about it. So now to the plate, Ernie Banks. 1-0 and oh the count. Bases are empty here with two men out. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Sheffield is there, makes the catch, and the side is retired. So they breeze through this half of the inning. We'll head now to the home half of inning number three, all tied at one and one. So here now is the pitcher, Greg Maddox, as we Nothing. move on to the bottom of inning number Nothing. three. Greg Maddox.
first pitch on its way. He's ready. Here's the 0 1. Sets the target low here and it misses 1 and 1. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Williams is there. One down. The batter, number seven, second baseman, Shred Biggio. Now to the plate, Craig Biggio. He reached on a single in his first try. Yeah, guys, still the only hit in this game so far. They've been pretty well shut down. Guys on the mound have really much controlled the whole outcome up until this point. Ball one. Now a fastball, a bit too low here. It's ball one. That's by him for strike one. And he takes ball two, and it's two and one. At the letters, but called high, it's a ball. And obviously, this guy's a double threat up there. He can run, and he can go yard, too. You don't want to walk him because he might steal a base on you, but you don't want to groove a fastball either because he could take you out of the yard. Popped him up. Gehrig in foul ground. And he makes the catch for the second out. The right fielder. That's exactly what they wanted out of that pitch up in the zone. They took him up the ladder, and he couldn't get up to it. So that was an easy pop-out. Well-executed pitch there. Now in the box, Tony Gwynn. He comes in 0 for 1 on the day thus far after reaching on an error his first time up. Here's the pitch. Hey. And a strike called at the knees. Nothing in one. Hey, this is a huge at bat right here. This pitcher wants to end this inning and have three, four, five do up to start the next inning. Hold high in the air out to right field. K-line is under it, and he makes the catch for out number three. All set for the start of the fourth, and standing in the outfielder, Ted Williams. Number nine, Ted Williams. First pitch coming, here it is. This at bat is not starting off well as he's behind 0 and 2 now. Not much he can do with that one. Tied him up in knots. Can't get him to chase. It's 1 and 2. You know he's probably cheating on that inside pitch after he got jammed earlier. If you're on the mound right now, you want to try to hit that outside corner, and there's a pretty good chance you'll get him to roll over something. The 1 2. Is taken for ball two. Fastball swung on and missed for the first out. What I like about that strikeout, guys, is that he came back with a fastball on two and two. He was heading to count 0 and 2 earlier, but instead of continuing to nibble a little bit, he decided to get aggressive again and to challenge with his hard stuff. Into the box, Lou Gehrig. As he'll take a look at ball one. He's 0 for 1 thus far. The 1 0. 
is an off speed pitch taken for a ball. Bases are empty, one man out. Three and oh now. I'd be shocked if this wasn't a four pitch walk right here. He doesn't want to mess around and leave something over the heart of the plate and get beat in this situation. Swinging away and maybe a bit too anxious there. Still ahead in the count, three and one. Count full, three balls and two strikes. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Swing and a chopper down the first baseline. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. He loses him on ball four. That was a great battle right there. He tried to get him to chase, but he laid off some really tough pitches and got a walk. Got to tip the cap to the batter that time. Standing in, Al Kaline, one for one after a single his first time up. From the belt, kicks and deals. Perfect time for a mound visit right here. Just give him a breather, a chance to collect himself and get back to work. Runner at first here, one man out. That one's down around the knees, taken for a strike. Nice adjustment out on the mound. Overthrew the first one a little bit, but got on top and let that ball rip right out in front of him. Here's the 1-1. One -one. Pitch out. Nothing doing. The 2-1. And this is on the ground to short. Could be two. The second for one to Thomas. They get them both, and the side is retired. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And next will be the switch hitting third baseman, Chipper Jones. Here comes the first pitch. And a ball, 1 0. Fastball misses away here. It's 2 0. Two and one after the foul ball there. Ah, and Chipper so good at waiting for his pitch. He's got it to three and one now. Well, it's a pretty well-known fact that your batting average goes up as you get into more favorable hitters counts, and that's especially true when we're talking about this kind of hitter. Not a great spot to be in if you're the pitcher. Three and two, full count. And that misses for ball four. It's a leadoff walk that starts the bottom of the fourth. Now batter, the first baseman. Right. Next will be the cleanup Thumbs hitter, down. Frank Thomas, comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Throw over to first, and he's back in standing. Here's the first pitch to him. And a fastball, close, but ultimately ruled a ball, 1 and 0.
well off the plate with the change of pace. That's ball two. You never want to fall behind as a pitcher, but doing it to a guy like this is even worse. He's got to bear down and execute for the rest of this at bat, starting right now. Too high, and it's three and zero. Oh. Sometimes you got to be aggressive offensively, but sometimes you just let the pitcher dig his own grave. Patience and discipline seem to be the way to go right here. He's set. Here's the 3 0. And boy, that misses as well. It's back to back walks to start out the inning. Well, it's obvious he wanted absolutely no part of the three or four hole hitters. But he's got to focus here because this kind of five hole is just as dangerous. Striding in, Mike Piazza hit it hard but lined out in his first at bat. Yeah, he hit it hard. That's all you can ask. You can't control the results sometimes, Matty. Just unlucky with the placement. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Swing and a miss, 0 and 1. Hey, two options if you're standing on the bump right now. Have to find a way to punch this guy's ticket or roll a double play. Good fastball down around the knees there, taken for a strike. Mike won't go after that one. It's a ball and two strikes. Hey, textbook waste pitch right there. Does he go elevated fastball again or something slow below the zone? Working for the punch out and the offering. He's already walked two in this inning already. This guy just can't seem to find the strike zone. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. Nice two-seam fastball there. You don't usually see a lot of swings and misses with that pitch unless so it's really good. moving. So that yeah, one must have had some real good late life. To the plate now, Gary Sheffield. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. Reached base via the walk in his first plate appearance. Called strike 0 and 2. He's attacking this hitter a lot more aggressively than he did the first time when he faced him and issued a walk. Coming right after him here. First and second now, one man out. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time, out number two. Big strikeout for the second out there, but he's not out of it yet. We'll see if he can feed off that K, wiggle out of the jam, and keep this game tight. At the plate, Cal Ripken, as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. Two men on, two away here in the fourth. Right there, and it's quickly 0-2 now. This is a perfect time for him to break out that nasty changeup. Great arm action on it and bury something in the dirt, try and get a swing and a miss. Ready on 0-2. Two men are on with two men out. Drilled to first. Oh, and he can't come up with it. Yeah, and with two outs, the pitcher was mentally in the dugout already. Now he's got to regroup and find a way to get out of this. Hard not to feel for the guy. Base is full now following the error. And digging in is the outfielder, Shane Victorino.
Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Williams is there. He's got it, and that'll get him out of the jam. A couple of walks, but no damage. Mark, Dan, and I are back with more after this. Riding in, Johnny Bench. He drew a base on balls his first time up. Johnny Bench. Here it comes. And here's a first pitch curveball that bounces on him there. It's ball one. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2 0. Now here it comes. Time to wake up the offense right here. Three one count all in on something over the heart of the plate. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. And a good eye here as he takes ball four and it's a base on balls to lead off the fifth inning. And that hole it feel like he really didn't want to challenge him. And I'm really surprised by that because I think this is a guy in the bottom third of the order. You have to go right after at the plate, Eddie Matthews. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, but it was a good changeup, Matty. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Let the ball get a little deeper. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to rush a heater right here. On its way, the 0-1 pitch. Boy, that's just about in the catcher's glove there. It's 0-2. Might have to change your game plan in the box right here. If he's going to pound away, might have to work the opposite field. The 0-2 home hit back up the middle. To second for one. To Thomas at first. It's a double play. Nice job on the mound to bounce back from the leadoff walk. Those are usually pretty costly, but that won't be the case this time after the two ball. Next to hit will be the pitcher, Babe Ruth. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. First offering on its way. Swing and a little blooper to center. Here comes Victorino. He can't get there, so the inning will continue. He came to play today, not just only on the bump right there. He's thrown the ball well, but on the offensive side of the ball, he's able to contribute and help this offense put itself in position to score some more runs. Into the box now, Jackie Robinson. As the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball, 1-0. and oh. A hit in two tries for him so far. The 1-0 home is swung on and missed, strike one. A bouncer up the middle. Reined in. Throw on to second for the force, and the side is retired. So no runs on a hit here, no errors, one man left on. Last half of the fifth coming up, all tied at one and one. Bottom of the inning now, and that'll bring up the pitcher, Greg Maddox. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And he lays off there 1 0. And 
and that's right there and we're even at one really feels like he's just on cruise control out there on the mound right now boy this is a tight one you kind of get the feeling like the next team that scores is going to win this one had nibbled the corner there but missed two and one you certainly know he's not trying to work around the pitcher but sometimes the hardest thing to do is to throw a strike to a guy that you know won't swing the bat now the two one it is swung on and missed and that's strike two this offense has just been flailing at the plate all game long so it's no wonder why they've only been able to pick up one hit so far I'm not seeing much of a game plan from these hitters the two two is swung on and missed strike three I always like watching pitchers that attack with their fastballs until there's a reason to start mixing it up he hasn't needed many of the secondary pitches so far in this one and there was another good fastball for a strike out there at the plate now Craig Biggio as he'll watch one miss down and in for a ball one and oh a hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ball game. Got himself a 2 0 fastball there, but he couldn't connect 2 and 1. Down the left field line and deep. And this is going to get down. It's a foul ball. One out, nobody on. And there's ball three on a breaking ball that misses away. Looked to me like he tried to do way too much on that 2-2 pitch. You don't have to come into the zone on that count, but a pitch that far outside isn't going to tempt anyone to swing. And he takes ball four, so he's on. And as you know, that often means the steal could be in order here. The right fielder, number 19. Tony. Ready for another shot now. Yeah. Tony Gwynn. It was a fly out for him in his last trip. And with his speed, he's one of those rare guys who you'd actually like to see keep the ball on the ground. You can't beat out a fly ball in this game. Perhaps wisely, another look to first. And he'll get dirty, but he's back in safely. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Oh, that's Outside with the fastball, that's 1 0. Oh. Good speed at first and good speed with a guy at the dish. Gonna be tough to double up these guys. If you're an infielder, gotta get rid of it quick. Runners on first with one down. Swing and a looper to left. Left fielder coming in. He can't get there as it falls in. Sometimes you just got to tip your hat to the offense right there. Nice piece of hit. Executed his pitch away again, but the hitter was able to stay on time. In now, Chipper Jones. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. It was a walk in his last trip. The 1 0. The bouncer to the left side. Speared on the dive. Well, that was a big time stab, and that probably saved a run, but the bases will be loaded despite the great effort. As the pitching coach heads out to the mound, I think this is probably just a case of giving your guy a chance to catch his breath, pump him up a little bit, let him know that he's got it under control. Stepping in now, Frank Thomas. As he'll take a look at the pitch too low, it's ball one. It was a walk in his last trip.
Oh, the big hurt connects here and sends it high and deep out to left field. Gone! It's a grand slam! So he promptly unloads the bases with that one, and it's suddenly a 5-1 ball game. Yeah, well, you've got to feel really sorry for the pitcher. He was up against the ropes, bases loaded, with a power hit at the plate. The best thing he could do in that situation is to try to keep him from making hard contact. Well, so much for that. He obviously made a mistake, and the big slugger made him pay. Into the box, Mike Piazza. As he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. This is a situation where you almost have to play mind tricks on yourself if you're out there on the mound. Four runs have come across already this inning, but now the bases are empty. He's not in danger anymore, so he's just got to tell himself he's doing fine and he just needs to get this inning over with. Into the corner and slicing foul. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. It's one thing to get hit around, but it's far worse when you're getting yourself into trouble by not throwing strikes. Every pitcher's been there, but it doesn't make it any less frustrating or unacceptable. He's fallen behind now, 3 and 1. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. I got three and two. Hits are now even at four apiece. Comes with the fastball, but it's outside for ball four. What's the saying? Uh, when you find yourself in a hole, the first thing you should do is stop digging. Well, the guy on the bump obviously hasn't heard that one. Now out of the dugout comes the manager as he'll make his way towards the mound. And we're going to have a pitching change as that's going to be off for his starter this afternoon. So he'll make his way to the dugout after working just four and a third, and he just didn't have his best stuff in this one. Your Lefty Grove enters to make an appearance on the mound as he inherits Lefty. a runner at first with Whoa. one out in the inning. Gary Sheffield will be the first to greet him here as he'll stand in with a runner at first and one away. He's set. Here it comes. And there's a fastball well off the plate inside. The 1 0 home. Taken, strike one outside corner. High and deep to left. This one's got plenty of distance. See you later. Over the wall, a home run. It's a two-run shot to straight away left as it's now a six-run ball game. Another excellent swing right there. That's multiple home runs in the same inning. Watch yourself. You're missing over the heart of the plate.
Standing in now, Cal Ripken. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Now the 1 0. Is swung on and missed in that strike one. Grove is pretty much a manager's dream coming out of the bullpen. High strikeouts, doesn't walk a lot of batters, usually a recipe for a lot of success. Oh, that's one of the keys. I think if you were to build the perfect relief pitcher, you'd want a guy that throws a lot of strikes, that minimizes the base on balls, and nobody does it as good as this guy does right now in the game of baseball. He dropped that curveball in for a strike right there, but don't kid yourself, that's a dangerous pitch. He needs to start thinking about maybe working that back door, or that could get some serious damage done to it. Mantle is underneath this one, two gone. Ready once again, Shane Victorino. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Here comes the first pitch. Good fastball as he gets the swing and a miss. That was some smoke right there. High fire right on by. Off speed pitch just missed inside. Very high, two and one. Now the pitch. Got him to go after a bad one there, and it evens the count at two and two. What I love right there is just the freedom in that hack. He ain't trying to do anything but hit the baseball as far as he can. And strike three there as they'll finally work out of the inning as the side is retired. But they manage to bat around as nine men come to the plate and six of them score. Five innings complete. Beasts out in front here, seven to one. Digging in the switch hitter, Mickey Mantle. And at this point of the game, I think it's clear that the plan of attack against the top of the order has worked. Well, when you've only surrendered one hit to the top three guys in the order up to this point in the game, you know you're doing something right, Matt. You're spot on. Whatever they discuss coming into this game has worked out beautifully. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Ball one, no strike. The 1-0. -oh. A swing and a miss. That's the first strike. Hey, that's a well-executed pitch right there. That might have started middle, but you saw it breaking away to that outer part of the zone. This left-handed batter right here has got two decisions to make. Is he going to ground out to second base all day, or is he going to drive the ball the other way? Ball taken there. Two and one now. Now here's the pitch. Three and one. Into his motion. Here comes the three and one. Fouled off. The three two pitch. He is swung on and missed. He got him. Now batting, Ernie Banks. He's lined out and flied out in two plate appearances. Here's the first pitch to him. There's a good fastball on the outside corner as he'll take a look at strike one. Bases are empty, one man out. And he falls behind 0 and 2. He 
inside and high with that one. One ball, two strikes. Well, tried to throw a high fastball right by him there. Didn't work. But now we'll see if that sets up some different options. Wouldn't be surprised to see a good slider down and away right here. And no shot there for Chipper. It's a fair ball. Boy, this is just a case of another really good hitter finding a way, even though that was a soft liner, finding a way to get hits. Yeah, he usually hits rockets and catches the barrel, but even his soft liners fall. Dan, he has a knack for keeping his bat in his zone and giving himself a chance much longer than the average ball player. Into the box now, Ted Williams. And forget about the double play now as he'll move up to second here on the wild pitch. I think this all stems from the fact that they're trying to make sure the guy at the plate doesn't hurt them at all. And with that base open at first, they might opt to just put him on. He's ready. Here's the 1-0. Yeah. And through five and a third, already coming up on 100 pitches here. Yeah, Matty V, this pitch count continues to go up, 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 near 100 pitches here. He's not even through the sixth inning, and Mark DeRosa, this is right where you'd like to have a pitcher like this guy. Yeah, absolutely. A lot of stress pitches for him, you know. Usually you can throw 100 pitches, and if you're not taxed and there's not people in runners in scoring position, you could be all right, but he's, he's had to grind this one. Uh, trying to pick up that outside corner, but this misses, and it's back to even at two balls and two strikes. Not where he wanted that fastball to be, and it's three and two now. Keep in mind, people, the longer the at-bat, the higher the likelihood that this becomes his last inning. And he goes and chops this one out towards second. Throw to Thomas is in time for the out. Now that the first base. Move. Gary. So digging in now, Lou Gehrig. First pitch of the at bat. A high fastball is in there. That elevated fastball right there, that is the biggest change in the game today for me. When I first came up, a lot of guys working at Greg Maddox east to west. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Standing in, Greg Maddox. He went down on strikes last time up. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. 0-1 the count. Ball and he's quickly in the hole, 0 and 2. Whoo, that was some gas. Triple digits on the radar gun. Good job of holding up on the low ball there, and it's 1 and 2. Oh, a fastball swung on and missed, and for the second time today, he's gone on strikes. Well, we'll see a lot of these power arms coming out of the bullpen in these days, but it doesn't make it any less impressive to me. I love watching guys come in and blow smoke right by guys. So now to the plate, Craig Biggio. And he'll watch one miss up and away for a ball, 1-0. and He's 1 for 2 in this one. top it's 2 and 0 oh. when you're down 6 on the mound you got at least throw strikes here mm -hmm. 
Down low, and the plot thickens here. Three and O. Oh. Tony Gwynn will be next. From the windup, the 3 0 pitch. Shoots this one over to first. And he whips on it as this ball's right under his glove. There's a danger of falling behind 3-0. You don't know which guys no in the right lineup field. outside the middle of the order are going to pull no the trigger field. in a spot like that. He was Where? one of them. 3-0 swing in the bat. Aggressive hack. Nice base hit. At the plate, Tony Gwynn hops this one up. But this will land untouched. He's working on a one for three thus far. On its way, the 0 1 pitch lifted in the air toward the line in right. And no one will track it down. Runner at first here, one man out. Oh, and he breaks, and they've got him picked off. And they got him at second base on a good, smart play that time. Now here it comes. One ball, two strikes. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. The one-two. He started this guy backwards, a couple of off-speed pitches early, followed by back-to-back -back heaters. He can go either way he wants to go right now. Trying to nibble here, and he misses to run it full now. Three and two. That was another good pitch and a tough call that could have gone either way. He couldn't get him to bite on it again, so the count's gone from 0-2 to 3-2. to and two. Now the payoff pitch home. And he lets him off the hook there as this isn't even close for ball four. Now batted, third baseman, Chipper Jones. At the plate, Chipper Jones, a hit in two tries so far. And prior to the first pitch, a look to first, just keeping him close. From the stretch. Good nope. take there to lay off the high fastball. A runner on first with two away. Skied into very shallow right. K line is there. And that's the third out. off the inning Al Kaline and they'll need him to get something going here it doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings down by a bundle it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one first pitch coming here it is ball one. A fastball here as he'll take a look at ball, ball one one and oh a couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen The 1 0. That's popped up. Thomas has room in foul territory, but this will land untouched. Nope. Fastball close, but he didn't get it 2 and 1. Very impressive outing so far. His command has been spot on. Even when he misses his spot, it isn't out over the heart of the plate. He's throwing quality pitches. Slider can't find the zone here, and he's behind now. Three and one. 
big sweeping breaking ball right there. Good pitch. But if he wants to get him to swing at it, he'll have to bring it in a little bit closer to the strike zone. Into his motion. Here comes the three and one. And a good take there as they'll have a leadoff man aboard to start the seventh. It's ball four. And when your pitch count gets over 100, you've got to expect them to lose a little bit of accuracy out there. And I think if he gets into any more trouble, they might come get him. We'll see if he can finish strong. Now at the plate, Johnny Bench. It was a walk in his last trip. First pitch of the at bat on its way. All you want is the leadoff man to get on to start a big inning, maybe get a big rally going to claw your way back into this ball game. The 1 0 is off the plate up and away. Now this is the kind of count this guy feeds on at the plate. You can bet he's geared to hit the fastball right here. There's a strike. It's two and one. Hit the other way out toward right field. Gwynn will settle under it to make the play for the first out as the runner will have to head back to first. Now batting third baseman. Eddie. Into the box, Eddie Matthews. He was a double play victim last time around. Yeah, and the defense is thinking, give it to us again and we'll roll it over all day long. Don't think that's not in his head right now as he steps to the plate. Curveball looked at here for strike one. We're moving right along into this one. This guy's continuing to pitch well, which is a little bit of a surprise because his first pitch strike ratio is still under 60%. Swung on and chopped down the line at first. On to first, it's a double play. As their woes continue, the inning is over. This one pretty well in the bag. We'll move on now to the bottom half of the seventh. Get up and stretch. The Beasts lead this one 7-1. to one. Ready to go for the last half of the Ready inning. And Ooh, next will be the imposing the power game. bat, Frank Thomas. Right. First delivery to him on the way. And he throws the fastball by him here. 0 and 1. And it won't get easier now. Juan Marichal gets loose in the bullpen. Late one ball, one strike. One and two to Frank Thomas. And he wasn't going to hit that one with an or the strikeout, and there's one gone. This is why it's so hard to be successful as a hitter when you fall behind in the count. One and two, you're probably expecting some sort of off-speed pitches, but when the pitcher offers up a good, hard fastball, it's pretty hard to adjust and catch up to it. To the plate now, Mike Piazza. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. One oh home. Aye. Swung on and missed that strike two. One out, nobody on. Two and two.
Ready on two balls and two strikes. Here it comes. Oh, and you can tell he wanted to hold off, but he swings through the inside pitch anyway, and he becomes out number two. Really good pitch right there. So you're moving the ball all around the strike zone, and then what do you do? You come in. That's a hard pitch for any hitter to do anything with. Just really makes it difficult to get that bat head out. In now, Gary Sheffield. As he'll look at a breaking ball that misses for ball one. One for two in the ball game thus far. And that misses low and inside. Two balls and no strikes. Swing and a miss. Two and one. Two out. Nobody on. Hit high and deep to right center. Mantles on the move. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. Your attention, please. Now so a new pitcher coming on Eric. now as the right-hander Eric Gagne yeah. gets the call here. Jimmy Fox is going to be asked to get things going here as a lead off the top of the eighth. First pitch of the inning is taken low and away for a ball. It's one and oh. Now here's the pitch. It's a swinging strike three in the dirt. Up with it, Piazza. And he makes the throw to first. Fox is retired, and there's one away. And there's a final look at the numbers for the starter in this one. And he'll be very happy with how the day went. Matty V, really a solid performance. Seven strong innings pitched in line for the win. Needs some help for the bullpen to close this one out. Into the box, Jackie Robinson, as he takes a fastball off the plate for a ball 1 and 0. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. The 1 0 is laid off for ball two. Action in the bullpen now as a right hander begins to throw out there. One run, five hits, and three errors for these guys so far this afternoon. Too far out in front that time. He can't keep it fair. Two and one. Now here it comes. Fastball was too much for him there. Swung right through it. Hey, I know he's aware he can't tie the game with one swing of the bat. But maybe he's just trying to excite the boys and get one on the board. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back to back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. No problems for him on the mound since he's come out of the pen to start this inning. That's back to back K's and he's making it look pretty easy. This has the makings of a good outing so far. Standing in now, Mickey Mantle. Yes, he'll take a look at ball one. He could really use a knock here. 0 for 3 in the game so far. The 
the 1-0. And a good comeback fastball there. It's two balls and a strike. The 2-1. One run, five hits, and three errors for these guys so far this afternoon. And this will miss down low in the dirt, so he's worked it full now at three and two. If you're at the plate right now, you have to realize who's on deck. I guarantee you something's over the heart of the plate. You have to be aggressive in the zone right here. And this will be fouled away. Fouls this one off. Another full count pitch home. Is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. Juan Marischal enters Jordan now in a mop-up role as he'll try to now keep the deficit right where it is. Marichal. Now at the plate, Cal Ripken. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last A.B. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard, this A.B. Pitch on the way. And he gets him to swing through that one. He's in control 0-2. Fouled away. Protecting on 0 and 2, so we'll do it again. As a pitcher right there, do not be surprised if he throws the same exact pitch. He was lucky to foul that one off. Rip down the line, but a foul ball, and the count holds it 0 and 2. Shoots this one to first. A leaping try, but it's out of his reach and into the outfield. And this will kick off the base of the wall. And he's going to get to second now with nobody out. Wow, not sure what the pitcher was thinking. Serving up a fastball right over the heart of the plate. His eyes got as big as saucers as he blasts this thing, putting himself in the scoring position to start off the inning. Stepping in now, Shane Victorino. As he'll take a look at a slider that can't make it back to the corner, it's ball one. Called strike at the knees. Evens the count at one and one. Softly to the right side. Should get the runner to third. Throw on to first in time. One away. Now back, the pitcher, Eric. Fudge Rodriguez will grab a bat and pinch hit now, and he'll be looking for at least a fly ball as he's got a runner at third and only one away. It's the outside corner. It's strike one. Ah. 
squared that one up just a little late. The 0 2 pitch gets him swinging. He struck him out. Pretty textbook pitching right there. Jump ahead and account 0 2 and then start working outside the zone. Easier said than done, but that's the way you do it. At the plate, Craig Biggio as he lays off a fastball too low for ball one. So far, two for three in this one. Popped up. Gehrig calls for it. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. One hit, one left. We played eight full. The Beasts lead it seven to one. Jason Isringhausen comes on from the pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. Isringhausen. Digging in and looking for more, Ernie Banks. He's working on a one for three thus far. First delivery to him on the way. Outside, that's the ball. The set and the 1 0 pitch. Line towards center field. Victorino is there. One quick out to start inning number nine. Good contact to start out the inning. Thought he might be on base with some sort of a hit, but it hung up there too long. Just unlucky that time. Stepping into the box, Ted Williams. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. First pitch on its way. Tight break with the slider there. Catches the inside for a strike. Right-hander starts to loosen out in the bullpen now. And it's quickly 0-2. You can definitely tell with that foul off right there that he's picking up spin on this pitcher's off-speed stuff. Maybe expect a fastball on this next one. Started the breaking ball far too inside that time. Laid off for ball one. And it's fouled away. Bases are empty. One man out. Count still at one and two. Now the pitch. That's lifted the other way out to left. Sheffield comes on now and puts it away for the second out of the inning. Now back the first baseman. Move. Yeah. Now at the plate, Lou Gehrig. First pitch coming, here it is. Oh, that Fastball well outside. Bases are empty here with two men out. And that's in there for his strike one and one. Now here's the pitch. Check swing. No swing, says the home plate umpire. Ball two. He's set and the 2 1 pitch. Oh, now a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. Oh. 
And that's taken for strike two as now they're down to their final strike here this afternoon. And he gets strike three called to end it here. And with that, this one is over. Look, it's easy. You don't have to look any further than the fifth inning to see where this game was decided. They put together a big rally and did everything down the stretch to secure this win. Seven to one the final today. The long ball era used a nice fifth inning to take the lead and they never gave it back. Greg Maddox pitches well enough to get the W. So that'll just about do it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. For more, don't forget to check out theshownation.com. Here now is our final line score. First for the victorious team. Seven runs, seven hits, no errors. They left six men on base. For the groundbreakers, one run, five hits, three errors. They left six runners on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 59 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we remind you to please drive home safely.